Welcome to Front Page News. On Tuesday, questions about Chinese meddling in Canadian electoral processes were posed to Justin Trudeau up to 11 times. And every time he was questioned, Trudeau tried to dodge giving answers to the direct questions posed to him. Even some of the liberal ministers who got up to provide a response never appeared to have addressed the real questions that were posed to them. Trudeau was challenged by both the leader of the Conservative Party, Pierre Polyver, and the leader of the Bloc Québécois, Yves Francois Blanchet, to answer questions about what he knew about claims of interference by the Chinese government in Canada's most recent elections. Watch this. Do our security services and our officials or our police officers did they ever inform the Prime Minister of Beijing's interference in our elections? Yes or no? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. As I've said many times, Mr. Speaker, our security and intelligence services and police take the importance of fighting against foreign interference very seriously, including Chinese interference. But I can assure the member and all Canadians that in the 2019 and 2021 elections, there was no foreign interference in a way that would have changed any of the results in any significant way. That's what the Independent Committee found. The right honourable leader of the opposition. Speaker has used uh, words to obscure the answer. He says there was not interference in a significant way that would have changed the outcome. Was there any interference of any kind? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. As our intelligence services have highlighted many times in many different forums for Canadians, uh, interference in Canadians' aff affairs by foreign powers is an ongoing thing, whether it's cyber interference, whether it's interference with uh, communities here in Canada, uh, whether it's attempts to influence uh, the media. These are things uh, that go on on an ongoing basis and things that our, our intelligence agencies and police agencies uh, work very, very hard uh, to counter. Uh, but Canadians can be reassured that the integrity of our elections was not compromised. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He still won't answer the question. The question was specifically about whether intelligence, law enforcement or public servants briefed him or in any way informed him of any interference in any of our elections. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, back in 2019, we established a uh, professional, a, a nonpartisan, uh, independent group of top civil servants and intelligence officials to ensure that the integrity of our elections would not be compromised. Uh, they watched and reported in the 2019 election, they watched and reported for the 2021 uh, election, and in both cases confirmed that the integrity of our elections was not compromised. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The question was not whether the election was compromised. The question was whether officials in intelligence law enforcement or the public service at any time informed the Prime Minister of allegations of any interference in our elections. Yes or no. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the uh, member opposite brought in the element of allegations of interference. I can confirm uh, based on uh, the news reports that a number of people have been remarking on for the past number of weeks uh, that I have never gotten any information from any of our security agencies or police officers or intelligence officials or public servants on any information on anyone receiving, uh, as a federal candidate, receiving money uh, from China as the allegations highlighted. Bull Leader of the Opposition. The, the question wasn't whether or not he heard allegations of money going to a candidate from China. Um, obviously, money doesn't travel on a big ship from the other side of the Pacific and then go to the shore and then be delivered to a candidate. Uh, that is obviously a, a denial of an absurdity. The question is whether or not 
the Prime Minister ever got information from the public service, the police, or intelligence bodies on any interference of any kind by Beijing in our elections. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. I got a report back uh, from our panel that was established, the experts established in the national security agencies to report back on whether or not our elections were subject uh, to foreign interference uh, and they confirmed that the elections uh, were ha held in full integrity, uh, the outcome uh, was not impacted, that Canadians can have full confidence in uh, the integrity of our elections in 2019 and 2021. Le de Belle -Chambly. The Honourable Member for Belle Chambly. My fear is that this is going to be even more confused in French. The uh, they said that there was no investigation the, by the RCMP, but now they're investigating. And I hope there's no one here that benefited from illegal funding, but if uh, it, the reports suggest that there are up to 11 of them. Is this about protecting democracy? If so, the Prime Minister should reveal which ridings we're talking about, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Monsieur, please. Mr. Speaker, as I said, we all heard the media reports which alleged that there was some funding by China of certain candidates, federal candidates, and I can confirm that all the experts and all the authorities from our intelligence services among all of them, no one shared anything about interference whereby Canadians received money directly or indirectly from China. The Honourable Member for Belle Chambly. The Prime Minister says what he doesn't know. He should tell us what he does know. He should, it's hardly reassuring if he doesn't know anything about these allegations. So this is a Prime Minister who... Uh, stands up to the Chinese uh, leader without uh, taking the trouble of getting any allies on board with him before he st stands up to him. So if China is to be isolated or pressured, shouldn't the prime minister seek some allies instead of just doing it uh, solo and uh, for, for grandstanding purposes? The Right Honourable Prime Minister... Mr. Speaker, Canada does work with his al its allies and has been doing that for years to counter foreign influence, including Chinese interference in our cybersecurity systems, in our media, and uh, in our population. So we're working very closely with our allies in the U.S. and in England and elsewhere to counter that influence, and we will keep working with our allies to promote our values and principles that we all hold so dearly. Apparently, it's quite unlikely that Justin Trudeau would tell Canadians what he knows about the Chinese interference, no matter how often or how hard the opposition party tries to force it. The Liberal government seems satisfied to ignore this and sweep it under the carpet as typical of the federal government. And more unbelievable is that the legacy media doesn't seem to be particularly alarmed by this ridiculously vehement refusal of transparency and accountability by Justin Trudeau. But of course, there would be no shortage of rage farming stories from the legacy media if same China interfered in Canadian elections and the Conservative Party came out on top. But Trudeau is a liberal, so many in the media will ignore any scandals involving him even if an authoritarian regime like China tries to influence the country's election. It is an insult to the larger percentage of the Canadian populace, to which Justin Trudeau owes a duty of accountability and responsibility as an elected public official. Canadians should be outraged by reports of Chinese meddling in our elections, and nobody should tolerate Trudeau's dodging of the issue. Let's know your opinion on this in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Also, share with as many people as possible. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. See you next upload. Thanks for watching.